Is it actually not all that uncommon for him to fill me in on stuff uh, before it hits the wire? Um, there's probably a little extra reason why he uh, reached out specifically last night. But, I mean, look, if you're committed to winning a championship, um, this kind of stuff doesn't matter. Uh, Dan, pass it behind you, Brennan. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we did talk, um, and um, I don't think there was anything that needed to really be squared away. I think just uh, just a little bit of listening from both sides and um, and getting to know a new teammate. Did you get anything out of that conversation that we needed to hear? Um, I thought it was a productive conversation for sure. So um, as far as, like, the specifics, I'll just leave it at it. It was a, it was a good combo. Who else? Uh, back to Brennan. Where are you right now uh, in terms of your buildup and how built up do you think you can be broken down? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I've been throwing pens for quite a while. Uh, I've hit a few check marks in terms of total overall volume within some bullpens and pushed it to about 60. I've also repped out multiple ups. Uh, and I've also repped out frequency of bullpens within a week. So I'm in a good spot to transition into um, the, the, uh, the schedule that we have laid out for the next four weeks. Um, you know, I'm just kind of approaching it really, really like one, one, you know, one day at a time. I know that's super cliche and you don't want to hear that, but I mean, that's, that's kind of the reality of it. I don't really have, I, I mean, I have a target for opening day. I don't have a target for workload. A lot of that kind of depends on, a little bit of dumb luck and, and some of the efficiency and some of these outings that lead up towards that. Um, and then, you know, the number of outings uh, in the game also you know, depends how we get through this first week. So um, I have a bullpen tomorrow and uh, we'll execute that and then get in front of some hitters uh, and decide the next step from there um, with the idea that, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be competitive for for uh, uh, multiple innings on, on, on opening day. Um, not, not quite sure how many innings at, at, uh, at this point, though. So not surprisingly, a detailed breakdown of his pitching from Garrett Cole. You mentioned Donaldson will be a fun post-game list in hitting. So now we've got the two angles covered coming up on our post-game coverage this season. And we have the biggest angle or one of the biggest topics of the day, the feud or the back and forth between Donaldson and Cole that we saw last year. And much like Donaldson, Cole answered those questions in a very professional manner, as you would expect that he would. And I give general manager Brian Cashman some props for reaching out to Cole earlier last night, letting him know that this was coming. And as I said earlier when Michael was on the set with us, this is not something that is going to fester. This is not something that is going to drag into the season. I've covered baseball for 30 years. And here's a little uh, highlight, a little headline. Not everybody in the clubhouse gets along with everybody else, but when they get on the field, they have a unified mission to try and win a game, try and win a championship, and both Cole and Donaldson have already said that. As you mentioned, Brian Cashman talked about Donaldson having a little bit of an edge. Maybe the clubhouse needed it. Would you agree with that, that maybe it was a little too quiet, too laid back? It's interesting when the general manager brings it up, Bob, I don't even think it matters what I think. <laughs> if the general manager says maybe the team needed that, I think the general manager is essentially telling you that the team did need that. Maybe the Yankees didn't have the edge that they needed to have across the last couple of years. Maybe there were some players who underachieved. And now you bring in a guy like Josh Donaldson, and maybe he's that more vocal, feisty guy who can help get a little bit more out of guys. You and I both know Paul O'Neill very well. And though O'Neill wasn't necessarily the type who would get in another player's face, by the way he played, he was an example because of the passion and the intensity and the tenacity. And I think every team needs players like that. I think Cole's like that on the mound. I think the Yankees just added somebody like that at third base.